obviously right now she's like stuck between two people. Um, but I don't know. I guess you're gonna have to see it. It's it's a roller coaster of a lot. ¿Cómo te Maximo. So what's Maximo's deal? I think he's Mexican. Congratulations on season two. It's still got it. It's good natured. It's endearing. I Thank love this show. You. So what's it like being a uh, part of this, um, just this really different show that just brings a smile to, to viewers' faces? I mean, it feels amazing, especially um, going through so many things for the past two and a half years. I think it's a show where people can just disconnect and enjoy for 30 minutes each week. Um, it's a, a show that brings you joy um, and just a lot of peace. And it's a show that you can share with your family and it's funny. So what else could you ask for? Yeah, it's got great values. It's warm and it's it, and it's not like shoving it in your face and preaching it. Every, it feels like it's all coming from a genuine place. Mm -hmm. um, and it kind of, it deals with, uh, I can't, it deals with a little bit of everything while keeping it light and having fun and getting some laughs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. I was talking with the boys about Sarah, Sarah coming out, Maximo's sister, and it's just done so really well and just so yeah. reflective of what happens, especially in Latino families where the mom, the religious exactly. mom won't accept it, even though she wants to, but she can't. It's, it, uh, it's just heartfelt. I know. Um, and then Cord, for you, um, I think you're a little more, I mean, you're, you're, you were likable last season, but I think this one, you're really growing um, and we can see it, especially when your friends, they're all named Chad, <laughs> come visit you. Yeah. <laughs> the whitest ass in Mexico, please come to the front desk. Who's messing with the PA? <laughs> that was hilarious. So for you, what was, what is it like playing this character? Could it easily been, it's usually the villain in, in these type of roles, right? But he's just very likable. Yeah, I think, you know, it, it it's kind of similar to, uh, I mean, a lot of people you might not like with your first impression, the more you get to know them, you kind of, you kind of start pe peeling back the reasons why they are the way they are and you kind of feel for him you're like oh well he's clearly needs attention or he's you know his mom and his relationship's not that great or you know it's it's complicated and uh everybody can kind of relate to you know wanting some sort of love or attention from somebody and so i feel like people sympathize with that but you know getting to know somebody you always see the other side of things and like he's kind of harmless and yeah. good his he's he's not he doesn't have bad intentions yeah, that's what makes it more tough about the love triangle with Maximo because you're like, oh, now you want this couple to work because. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. And if it, if it was like easier to if he was easier to hate, you'd you know, you'd it wouldn't be as back and forth and it wouldn't create as, as much uh, drama. Yeah. And then for Julia, um, we see in the last season that you're a little hesitant um, and then we see a little change in season three. I don't want to give it away yet. So where do you see your, your character going? Is he still harboring feelings for Maximo or where are we at? Look, I think she's just trying to find herself. I think that's exactly what it is. I think she's just trying to figure out what she's feeling, where she wants to go. And obviously right now she's like stuck between two people. Um, but I don't know. I guess you're gonna have to see it. It's it's a roller coaster of a lot, and it's just she's gonna have to make a smart decision at some point for herself, not for either of them, but for herself, because it's just driving her nuts. <laughs> and it's driving the viewers nuts because now we don't know who to root for. They're like, oh, I know. and it's so hard because, like you said, I, like everybody's rooting for both of them. They're both great guys. They're different, but they're equally great. So it's like, oh, where do I? Oh, yeah, it's it's tough. <laughs> And I just want more people to watch the show. So tell people why they should watch the show. Oh gosh, if you like, if you like laughing, if you like, if you hate crying, if you all the reasons, it's filled with all of it. No, it's it's such a, it's just so many uh, laughs, and it's just storytelling at its finest. Yes, and you can watch it with your family, and I think there's nothing more special than that. Especially bicultural, because now we get bicultural, it. Cultural, yeah. Right? We have Spanish. Nobody, we have anyone, Spanish and English, yeah, yeah, anyone can watch it. Really, I feel like we're in an era where people don't really care if if, if it's not in their language. So it's just connecting with these characters and with the stories, and yeah, I hope you watch it. I hope you enjoy it with your family, and it's a time to disconnect and have some laughs. <laughs>